So I want to talk about stabilizing cob to make it stronger and more water resilient. These two blocks here on the right, I just pulled these out from outside. They've literally been outside in the elements and under the rain for probably over six months now. And you can see how dark they are. They're still saturated with water. They've had about a day to dry out since the last rain. So anyway, I brought them inside. I'm going to let them dry out from here on. But observing what's happened to them so far here, you'll notice a difference between these two blocks. Now these two blocks are the exact same materials, the same soil, same aggregate. The only difference is that the one on the right had a 3% stabilization mix added to it, and the one on the left is a traditional regular cob mix with no stabilization added. It's just soil and aggregate, and of course, the fiber. So the one on the left, the traditional cob, you'll see all these little rocks on the top of it. Now this is a result of erosion. The soil has actually eroded away so much, leaving behind only the hard aggregate and rocks. Whereas on this one, you don't see that really much at all. And if you could feel this, this one, even though it's still saturated with some water, it's pretty hard. Whereas this one, it's, it's not as hard and it's easier to make a mark in it. So, even though this only had 3% stabilization, it's definitely showing um, to be stronger and more water resilient. And don't mind the sides here. This is how it looked when I took it out of the form. I actually made these blocks in a form by compacting, light, just lightly compacting the cob into the form. Not like this. This is actually rammed earth where it's highly compacted. This is far more highly compacted than these ever were. Um, this is rammed earth though. This is just soil. In this case, there's no aggregate that I put in this. And I actually put 10% lime pozzolan, whereas this was only three. So this is actually the result that I'm looking for. I want this, but with cob. So this is extremely strong and it's almost impossible to make a mark in this with my fingernail at least. This is incredibly water resilient, incredibly strong, and um, in large part because I added the stabilizer mix, the lime and pozzolan. So the next test I do, I will be doing a 10% lime pozzolan with cob, and I'm gonna see what happens. Now that I know how the 3% does, that's not enough, um, at least for what I'm trying to determine here. Uh, but just looking at the regular cob, again, this is just normal cob here. And it's been outside in the elements for over six months. And this is only eroded probably a half inch off the top at most. This one wasn't as high as this one to begin with. So don't compare the two by height. This one probably only lost about a half inch due to erosion. The sides are actually not bad. So just looking at this overall, it kind of busts the whole myth of a cob house is gonna melt away in a rainstorm. That's totally false. A cob just by itself, like this, is actually pretty strong and resistant to water. Um, so, if you want to make your cob stronger, um, stronger PSI, more water resilient, you can add the stabilization. It works great in a lot of situations. Most of the time, honestly, you don't need it, but it's a great option to have. I've done a lot of stabilized earth in Florida, especially with rammed earth like this, because it holds up extremely, extremely well. To water. So 
the um, the lime and pozzolan stabilizer. Just a note on that. That's an alternative to using Portland cement as your stabilizer. Portland cement works extremely well as a, an earth stabilizer, but a lot of people want a more natural alternative. That's where the lime plus pozzolan comes in. Pozzolan is also known as meta kaolin. It's a white powder. I actually have some somewhere down here still. Let's see if I can find it for you. Yeah, it's this one right here. This is what the pozzolan or meta kaolin looks like. It basically looks like lime powder, except it's clay based material. So you add that with lime to whatever percentage you want. You mix it into your earth mix and you have a stabilized mix. So um, actually the Romans used this lime pozzolan as a stabilizer for earth building. The famous Roman architect Vitruvius actually says in his book on architecture that they use lime pozzolan stabilizer in earth to build buildings and also docks. And these earth structures would actually be under the water continuously. And he said they would just get stronger and stronger over time. So that's pretty interesting and fascinating to think about. And um, the, the one downside potentially with adding stabilizer is that it can reduce the amount of vapor permeability of the earth wall. But it really gets balanced out because your earth wall is not going to be absorbing any moisture really to begin with if it's got all the stabilizer. And so it doesn't need to release as much water vapor. So it really kind of balances that, that aspect out. Anyway, I think that's all I've got to say on this. And I'll continue doing these tests and fill you all in on these results. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. And I'll talk to you all soon.